everyone, this is Larry, Jeep and Mo. And today we're gonna to cover adjusting your emergency brake handle. We've showed adjusting your emergency brakes. So also remember that even though you drive a automatic, your parking brake is very essential. It's to take the load off the transmission when you're parked. So make sure even though you drive an automatic, you set your parking brake. For a manual, it's a necessity. It's the only thing that keeps you from rolling. The only thing really holding you on a manual is the engine compression. But at some point your cable stretch out. This is an 18 JL with almost 70,000 miles on it. So the cable is a little stretched. And even once I pull the handle, there's not enough stroke on the handle to actually set the brakes. And with this being a manual, it'll roll. So let me show you how to get it adjusted. So on, on the emergency brake, it doesn't get tight till it's almost all the way up. So that's all the emergency brake I have left right there. Two clicks. When I first bought it, you know, when it was halfway up, it would be tight. And I know we've adjusted emergency brakes, the shoes themselves. So I know that they're tight. So now we got to get to the adjustment for this. All right, so since this is a stick, Make sure you chalk the wheels if you're on an incline, which we are. All right, so this is the main console for the Jeep. And in here, there's a couple access panels. Here on the bottom corners, they will have to pop out the little plugs. There's a screw on both sides. We'll take those out. These little trim removal tools, if you don't have a set, pretty good buy from Harbor Freight you'll use them you'll use them a lot you'll use them a lot now for any reason you don't see these plugs just pull your seat forward more okay so scoot the seat back and then in the front Pop your plugs out here as well. Pop that plug out and take the two up front out. Now for us, we have a CB on this side. So we just have to take the mount off to get to the screw. Not a big deal. I think I'm not changing this over to just a uh, GMRS because, quite frankly, the only time I ever hear any talk on this is bad weather. Most people don't run them on the trails anymore. Alright, so once you got all the screws out, you're going to want to get the seats as far forward as you can. And basically your console now is going to lift straight up. All right, and we'll get something to block under here, and I'll show you where the adjuster's at. Alright, so we're going to reach up in there. And this is one of the times when having an external camera actually works out pretty good. I'm using it like a mirror. But right there is the screw we got to tighten up and as we all know everything on a jeep is 10 millimeter right there's the cables you have to adjust they're not going to be very hard to turn so you're just going to turn it i really i don't even have a ratchet on it right now right, so you're just going to tighten them up a little bit then we're going to lower the console and see what kind of effect we had. So we'll back this out. Take our support out. Put the console down and give it a try. Okay, so we adjusted it. Now let's see where we're at. Okay, so about three quarters of the way up now. We start getting tight. And I can't get all the way up, so we're going to call that good. So now, instead of the handle being all the way up here, out of stroke, I actually have some 
a tight emergency brake. Right, so before I'd be all the way up, now at just a touch over halfway, I can feel it starting to pull on the emergency brake. So now we'll have a tight emergency brake and we're not going to roll when I'm trying to set it. All right, so let's put it all back together. All right, so now it's just reversed process. Line everything back up. So I get all the bolts in first before you snug anything up. And get the backs in. They should all just line right back up for you. Since this one was right there, we're gonna go ahead and snug this one up. And then put your plugs back in. Now unless you have a radio mount or something, you won't have this bracketry up here. This is just a CB mount that I had purchased. Right, so just snug it up. Your plug only goes in one way in the front. There's three little prongs on it. Just snap those in. And then we have to put the CB mount back on. If you got a GMRS radio, they make the same mount for that as well. Alright, then get your last screw in. Then all you have to do is put your floor mat back in. We're going to use this opportunity to vacuum this thing out. Put the pig pen in here. They only go on one way. Here we go. Alright everyone, so that was a kind of a quick video. But it's just to show you how to adjust your emergency brake handle. Remember, we've already adjusted our emergency brakes. And I'll put a link to that video here at the end. So if you've already adjusted your shoes, you pull the handle and you don't have anything, we need to adjust your handle as well. So in this case, we drive a manual and we rely on that emergency brake quite a bit. If you're driving an automatic, well, you really should still be using your parking brake because remember, the parking brake isn't there to stop you but it's to take the load off the transmission, even in an automatic. If you enjoyed the video, check out some of the other videos here on the channel. I'd always appreciate some comments. Check out some of our merch. You know, we have shirts and stickers and everything. You can find all that in the descriptions below. So until the next time, either on the trail or in the garage, we'll see you there, just a Jeeping Mo.